Yeah, man. So uh, right now, man, the rap game going. It, it's it's a lot of shit going on. Yeah. And it's different ways, man. Rap game. It's like the streets then hit the internet heavy more heavily than ever. <laughs> Everything that's going on, like niggas losing their life, niggas beefing. Everybody know <clears throat> everything. Uh, the police don't even got to work, no. Well, they never yeah. did have to really work, but now they... Now they ain't got to work, and it's just right there. It's like right there. I'm talking about niggas got the, everything right there on Front Street, yeah. man. So, when you see that type of shit, what, you, what, you, what does that make you say, like, as a nigga who was kind of came from a different time? Because, yeah. I mean, we did have the internet when you was out, yeah. but it wasn't like how it is now, like, instant. In the palm of niggas' hands to... Get on here and explain shit and tell shit. And yeah, people weren't that comfortable with yeah. with doing that like that. But really, I you know I came in the game when World Star first started. Gotcha. You feel me? So I've been in the game for a minute too. So I've grown and I, I've I've learned. But now, like today, is just somebody records you dying on the ground before they call nine one one on a same phone. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And you know my my house in Camarillo got raided because somebody had took pictures on Instagram of it, like with them with airsoft guns, and the police raided my house because they thought that it was real, real guns. You know, so that internet shit is a, a gift and a curse. That's a tricky thing. So, so, so you you at your house? And somebody had all oh, airsoft guns. Airsoft gun. And somebody called the put police, it, or they had on the internet. They put it on Instagram. Okay. And for some reason, the police is following the artists. Okay. And they see where they at, cause they know where they, where we at, and they raid our house. Okay. This shit is all this public information. You can look this shit up yourself. Yes. Camera, I'll give you a trip. Yeah. The internet is so crazy because they don't have to do nothing. So you got to really be real careful, especially it's harder for you to even want to protect yourself because of the, how reckless it is. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. That's, it's just reckless. Like, yeah. So, you know, in L.A., they got a little bit, they got strict gun laws out there, huh? Yeah, can't have no gun. You can't have no gun at all? At all. No, but nobody can have a gun. Security guard, yeah, and police, yeah. So with everything going on, and, and and it's so basically niggas is if you a rapper and you in L.A., you pretty much got to take that risk down there. Pretty much. And they know this already. I mean, yeah. it's not. It ain't. I mean, yeah. they know what's going on. Yeah. Then they know every goddamn thing. Like yeah. Say, I mean, it's different laws though. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, no, you right, you right. Yeah. It's different laws though that kind of help out. Yeah. You feel me? Gotcha. It's a little. It's little laws that kind of help out, so you just gotta know how how you moving. But at the end of the day, is is you can't have it. Like you know, if you have business or something, you know, you can always have a a weapon at your your residence or your your business. If you're a homeowner and business owner, but other than that, you, ain't, you cannot walk out your house with a gun. You can't ride around with that motherfucker. You can't keep it on. You can't do none of that, Captain. Yeah. Um. And, and and that's what's even more crazier now when I look at these type of situations now because in LA and New York, y'all are and you know the the, the police that's watching rappers yeah. and watching the the mix of the rap and the street culture. They like in every major city, most yeah. definitely. You got them in little towns, yeah. or they know the local popping rapper yeah. and what he got going on. They follow them, but. New York first, and then yeah, L.A. New York had a hip hop police. Yeah, y'all basically do kind of too, right? Because they paying the, the they kind of paying attention to the same type no. of style. No, the hip hop police was directed just for hip hop. Okay, you feel me? Now the police is just the police is just getting doing how they do it now. Okay, so hip hop police was just police just to. Just so they could get rappers doing shit. Okay. It wasn't like the fucking sheriff of Houston, Texas, right now could just be looking on different rappers' Instagram and just see you got a gun and know where you live at, and then put a warrant out for you to come search your house. Yeah. That's what's happening today. Gotcha. You feel me? It's yeah. not like they have to do any type of real investigation or nothing. Yeah. 
But niggas tell you on myself too, but that's yeah. the story. Yeah, nah, because I, I guess I'm look, I was looking at it more so because of the gang culture. And that's why we can't have guns for real, though, because yeah. of the gang culture. But. Yeah. And, the, and, and that, that's what come from the gang yeah. enhancement and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. And, and I looked at that like, I. Right, that's basically almost something yeah. similar to hip hop police because, but it's not hip hop police because they looking yeah. for anybody doing anybody. anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I get you. I get you. So man, what the climate like out there right now, man? In that in that region, that city, and everything like that, it's smooth. It's, yeah, it's smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah, everything is um, everything is good. Man, everybody working and uh, moving. Yeah, yeah. The LA the sound is. Uh, Elevated even more, yeah. change with the times, yeah. man. You like what it's at right now, what the yeah. artists got going. I'm seeing new yeah. artists. I can't even keep up with all the yeah. motherfuckers and everything, but it's a lot of motherfuckers coming out, dropping mixtapes, doing videos yeah. and everything. Like, you like what the LA rap scene, the elevated to and shit? Yeah, I like where it's going. Yeah. Because it's always make room for change and, and different, it make room for change and new creativity. You get me? Yeah. So that's the best part about it. You know, everything go back around every 10 years anyway, so yeah. it's a good thing always. Uh, what I like about L.A., the, the L.A. rap scene too, and even just Cali and Ho, like even if niggas got the same sound, yeah. it's it's different, like, yeah. pockets of that shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, they got a pocket of this sound, then you got the pocket of artists who just on some laid back player shit, yeah. then you got the ones that got the still got the super. Like, oh, I'm 90s gang banged out and everything like that. So yeah. that's one thing I do like about Kelly, man. Niggas ain't never turned their back on where, where uh, they came from. I ain't never seen nobody just abandon the L.A. or California culture yeah. ever. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, that's a good place to be. Yeah. It's a good place to be. It's expensive. Yeah. It's a good place to be. I'm like a motherfucker out there, boy. Everything, huh? But that's what? what's up, though, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. Compton Minutes, giving the Instagram and everything like that. Yes, yeah, sir. The Instagram is Compton Minutes, Twitter Compton Minutes, everything Compton Minutes. Uh, the movie Fatal coming out on the 18th of the, this month, December. Make sure y'all check it out. It's in theaters. It's going to be in theaters. Okay. Starring Hilary Swank, Tyra Turner, Michael Wheatley, directed by Beyond Taylor. He's a good dude. So make sure y'all check it out. I'm in there too. You know, a little small part. Check it out though. She show y'all make sure y'all tap up, tap in, man. The boy really on some light. Like, hey, you finna be a real life, long, lifelong yeah. actor, man. They gonna yeah. hang you in the but rafters. That's man. like my job. I love. I just love the music. I love everything that comes with this shit. Facts. Like that acting. That's like. That's your job.